always alerting Storm Team 8. Well, here's a live look over downtown Grand Rapids. How about this on the Amway Grand? Ho, ho, ho. Getting in the festive spirit here in downtown. And despite the weather, still a lot of Christmas cheer out there. And that's probably because we're not having the travel impacts this Christmas that we were last year. It is very warm out there. 45 in Grand Rapids. We're at 49 in Holland. 50 degrees in Muskegon. 52 in Kalamazoo. Average high this time of year, 34. And tomorrow, we're forecasting highs even north of Grand Rapids to reach the mid-50s. Forecasting a high here in Grand Rapids of 55. Same in Caledonia, Wayland, over toward Holland, Saugatuck, and Douglas. And a bit further to the south, some spots may make a run at the upper 50s. So very warm, likely top five warmest Christmas days for most communities in West Michigan. And that comes along with mostly dry conditions. We'll get through much of the daylight without seeing any precipitation. That chance does begin to increase as we head into the evening. But notice that even as we're seeing rain at 8 o'clock tomorrow, we're still forecasting temperatures in the low 50s. So very, very warm. Here's kind of the reason why we have warm air continuing to pull up as this low develops off to our west, producing some pretty messy weather. Blizzard warnings in place across much of Nebraska and South Dakota. That's what we had one year ago. They're forecasting up to two feet of snow in spots, along with near zero visibility. And as we all know, the open plains out there means that snow is very easy to drift. So some major interstates out there are going to be impacted over the next 24 to 36 hours. That low begins to move its way north, delivers some heavy snow across, again, parts of the central plains. We get through much of the day dry. We'll be mostly cloudy tomorrow morning, not expecting sunshine, but it is going to be warm. As we head into the afternoon, that's when our chance of rain begins to increase, and especially after sunset, that chance goes up pretty significantly. We see light rain continue overnight before coming to an end early Tuesday morning. And then we'll see uh, mostly cloudy skies continue for us through much of the day on Tuesday. Rainfall amounts expected to be pretty light on the order of a tenth of an inch or two. Uh, they've trended down a bit over the last day or so. Bottom line, this is not expected to be a major rainfall event and not as much rain as what we saw just a few days ago. Hey, check this out. We are going to see warm temperatures for two more days, and then a big cool down arrives, at least comparatively speaking, with temperatures dropping down to where they should be this time of year in the low to mid 30s. And that does come along with at least some chance of snow, perhaps not quite this much. This is the scene one year ago out at South Haven where rescue crews had a hard time even plowing some of the roads. Again, not the case for us this Christmas, obviously, uh, with some warm weather on the way. But again, for folks who have been wishing for some winter, uh, hopefully it comes soon. We're running a deficit of 61 inches of snow <laughs> compared to this time last year. Your eight-day forecast shows highs in the 50s through Tuesday. Uh, we're down in the 30s by Thursday. We stay in the 30s for the last few days of 2023 with a periodic chance for some snowflakes or two. Nothing significant at this point, but Amanda, we are going to start to flip the pattern as we get closer to the new year. All right, Blake, that sounds good.